Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, there. Oh, God, that's even worse. Oh, that was an accident. Okay. There we go. Welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic. I haven't done any work on the hand, but people have had given me some other ideas, like trying to make a full giant person. Like, you imagine a person off the scale? Like, it would be very, very tall. It wouldn't be able to walk. It'd probably be stationary. It'd be pretty cool to make different arms and legs and stuff. I, there's no way it would function and work. That would just be ridiculous. Uh, but today, I want to show you something um, that I think is neat. I s first learned of it from my buddy Mr. Blitz Kriegsler. Check his channel if you haven't already. I'm sure a lot of you know who he is. Uh, me and him are big into scrap mechanic and done a couple videos together. But I want to show you guys because a lot of people haven't seen it. And I kind of want to experiment around with remote controlled scrap mechanic. You know, I didn't actually check to see if this would work in the new patch, because there was a new patch uh, that introduced some things like a, like a horn. Check this out. I, I sh probably should have checked if this thing still works. So we have a horn, a button, pick them up, and... <laughs> I think you change the pitch. <laughs> like the little sound it makes at the end. And then... Oh, that's so cool. Alright, we'll just leave that wall there. And there were a couple things. Oh, you can also, uh, change the power of the thrusters. So if you check that out, you can change the power of that. People were telling me that in the helicopter video, but th that was recorded before that patch actually came out. So, uh, it didn't really help me. Let's see, where do I want to go for this? Maybe we'll head over to one of the launch pads. It's a nice flat area. Hopefully it'll still work, otherwise this whole- Ooh, actually right here looks nice. Otherwise this whole video will kind of be nullified. Hmm. Oh well. I, I should have put the hand on a car or something so I can move it around. <laughs> but it's okay, we remember where it is. This, this, this is probably a nice flat area. So we'll check this out. This Kukuma Jumbo magic we got going on here. Let me grab all the parts that I need. Okay, uh, we're gonna grab our lift. Gonna put this bad boy down there. Pick it up so it's even, even though it doesn't really matter. We're gonna do bearing. Oh no, we need to do this first. Ah, nope, didn't mean to do that. Bearing. There, actually, I probably could have left that just fine. Okay, that goes there. I'll put a bearing, block, bearing, block, and I think that's right. I'll just do one more just to be safe because I can never remember. Okay. Go there. What? Okay, I thought it was gonna let me build it because the stupid plant was in the way. I'm like, go through the plant. You are a whitey. Plant is weak. I'll just put some itty bitty wheels on it. Okay. And you may be wondering if you guys haven't seen this before, you're like, what? What is going on here? This is the dumbest looking car I have ever seen. And you're you're probably right in that fact, but oh, but I get that up there. There and there. There and there. There and there. Okay, make sure these are all going the right way. So then we turn, nope, stop it. Turn the engine up a little bit. Take it off the lift. Sit down. Oh, this is a dumb little car he's got going on here. But wait. Ah, <laughs> remote controlled cars. Ah! We can even work upside down. Whee! <laughs> we actually did record... Uh, if you guys are subscribed to Blitz, you probably saw it. We recorded a whole episode with me, Blitz, Menace, Mr. Mula, and... Uh, Entak. Uh, we actually made a race course. Actually, Menace made it. I can't even see it. And we actually raced RC cars all around it. Unfortunately, my files got corrupted, so I wasn't able to show it. Uh, but this was the basic concept. We all sat in one place and we had a big race uh, race track. <laughs> we just had our little cars drive around it. Very cool video. Be sure to check those guys out. Uh, I'll probably link to one of their videos in the description just so you can see what happened. Because it was a fun collab video. And no, not everyone loves them, but I enjoy them. I, I don't even see it anymore. Where, where'd he go? Little goober. <laughs> it's gotta be somewhere because I'm still driving it. There! Oh, there he is! Oh my god, the prodigal son returns! <laughs> Whee! Okay. So that's the basic idea 
Uh, that's how you do that, but I want to take it to another level. Another ridiculous level. I don't know if it's gonna work, this is kind of an experimentation thing. Actually, let's just delete all this, let's just start over with a regular old 16 by 16 chunk. I'm hoping it'll work, because if it does, it'll seem- it'll be pretty cool. And it may have future implications, I'm not entirely sure if the developers plan on uh, leaving this glitch in the game. Because, I mean, re re allowing things to be remote controlled would be a pretty cool concept, in my opinion. Okay, so I have a larger platform here now. Uh, if it would, honestly, just because the yellow was really bugging me. <laughs> like, it, I don't like looking at large patches of those barrier blocks. But you, you might be able to figure out what I'm doing here. This is kind of an experiment. So we have these two hooked up here. So delete that. Delete that. Oh, we should probably take this off the lift, huh? Uh-oh. Uh, what? Oh, no! Why did that happen? Oh, no! There we go. Now we got it to work, but check this out. So now we got... Our little... <laughs> oh, man, this is gonna be so cool. So you can probably guess what I'm planning on doing here. I don't know why it didn't work last time, maybe because I put on the lift. But now, for these things, this should work. I should be able to pick it up, put them back down, and they stay connected. Only thing is you cannot pick up the seat. Oh, that's what happened last time. I think I picked up the seat. Or did I? Oh, yeah, I did pick up the seat. So you cannot pick up the seat. But if you do this, they will always stay connected for a basically infinite <laughs> distance. Oop. And you can't even attach steering to them. You can attach um, any sort of mechanism you want. And they should work just fine. Come back to me, buddies. Actually, we'll just have them stay out there. But now, so when we pick this up, uh, they are no longer connected. Oh man, this is gonna be awesome. Okay, so I have it mostly figured out. But a dome. <laughs> it's my little RC army. We have quite a few. It's not perfectly symmetrical. Um, I did screw up, so I had to make some of them a little thinner. Oh wait, what's going on here? Um, let's see. Hit. Well, that'll hit fine. Oh, yeah, I guess I messed something up there. There we go. I still have to connect all the engines, have all the bearings and the wheels hooked up. Uh, for each engine, I'm pretty sure you can only hook up an engine to 10 bearings at a time. So we're only going to make them powered by their front wheels to start. I'm going to try and remember to correct it every single, every single time I do it, because the front left, engine, front left wheel is always going to be backwards. So that's four. Five. Oh, what? It's one, two, th it's five? Oh, okay, it's gonna take a few more engines than previously thought. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we're only gonna have to. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of engines. Okay, let me get, let me get to work on this. There we go. <laughs> that just wasn't bad. We only used one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten engines. Not bad. Uh. Yeah, so each one can power two, so we have at least 20? Well, each, each can power two and a half. So how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Now in German, eins, fein, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieb, agen. Oh, that was, I, that fell apart there. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, uh, deux, trois, okay. Enough language there. They are all hooked up, but now we have to make sure they're all in the same engine power. Uh, we'll do three. These things are pretty light. Yeah, three should be plenty. Though we're actually gonna make them a little bit heavier in just one second. Okay. These all like defaulted to. Oh no, those were our original ones. Okay, that's where they're higher. Three actually might be a little too powerful. Um, let's actually do it two. Yeah, let's do two. 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 Uh, two. Yeah, these things are actually super light, so we actually probably don't want them on three. Because Rose, we had the the bigger one earlier was on three, so now they should all be on two. Okay, all good there. And now, for the piece de resistance. Our ducky army shall go forth and conquer these lands. <laughs> Why are they? Yeah, they should be all three wide. Yeah. Actually, some of them are going to be too wide. I should just put the duck, like, one further back. Some of them are going to be too wide, because when they're on the edges, you'll see in a second. Unfortunately, uh, their tires were kind of bumping into each other. Okay, the ducky army is completed. 
They are all ready to spread out into the world and conquer. Oh, I'm really nervous that this isn't gonna work. Okay, we're on the lift now. Let's go ahead and lower it all the way. Uh, probably gonna get some lag here. Let go. Oof. We oh, yeah, got that lag. Okay. Oh, my frame rate sucks right now. Oh, uh, we're gonna- <laughs> Why are some of them flipping over? Okay, just gonna have to delete all these blocks. Okay, let's make sure it's still hooked up. It is, okay. Oh, I hope this doesn't crash the game. Okay, I'm gonna have to unhook all of these real quick. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. Okay, it took about 10 minutes, but I think I actually got all of them unhooked. And no, there is not a problem with your computer. This is all on my end. Okay, yeah, I knew there was one over here that I missed. It's been real tricky to get these off. <laughs> this is like the dumbest thing ever. And probably an entire waste of time, because it's probably not going to look as cool as I thought it was. Okay, let's hop in the seat. And command our duck armor. Those two over there are sideways. Not entirely sure why. Alright. Time for the remote control duck army. And go! I'm holding W. Oh, there they go! Why are only some of them going? Why aren't those guys going? Whoa. Oh, look at that. Okay, frame recovered. Oh, uh, why aren't these guys going? Oh, no, these got disconnected. No. Yeah, they got disconnected. Okay, so only about, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> two thirds of our duck army works, but <laughs> there they go. Go out and conquer this land, duck army. <laughs> that guy does not want to leave. Just tip over, buddy. You can do it. I don't know how this guy can disconnected. <laughs> Look at him go. Woohoo. <laughs> well, this has been incredibly dumb, but it was fun to do, guys. So there's some serious applications for things like this in the future. I'm excited to try out. But anyway, leave a like if you did enjoy somehow and explicably. I'll see you next time for some more Scram Mechanic. Bye.